In Virginia's closely watched governor's race, Republican businessman Glenn Youngkin has emerged triumphant. All righty, Virginia, we won this thing! Narrowly defeating his Democratic opponent, former Governor Terry McAuliffe. In a state, President Biden won by 10 points just one year ago. This is the spirit of Virginia coming together like never before. Former President Donald Trump, who endorsed Yunkin and held teller rallies for him, released several statements overnight claiming victory and thanking, quote, MAGA voters. But Yunkin successfully kept his distance from Mr. Trump during the race and did not campaign with him. Our NBC News exit poll shows the former president remains unpopular with most Virginia voters, while a majority viewed Yunkin favorably. Yunkin cut into McAuliffe's margins in Democratic strongholds, winning back suburban voters who Trump lost in 2020 by focusing on education, including the controversial critical race theory, which highlights the role of racism in U.S. history, but isn't actually taught in Virginia. We are going to reestablish excellence in our schools. We're going to embrace our parents, not ignore them. In what may have been the race's turning point, Youngkin seized on this controversial comment by McAuliffe in a debate. I don't think parents should be telling schools what they should teach. McAuliffe said the comment was taken out of context, all but acknowledging defeat overnight. Meanwhile, in New Jersey's governor's race, we're going to wait for every vote to be counted. Incumbent Democrat Phil Murphy is locked in an unexpectedly tight battle with Republican Jack Chitterelli, with the race still too close to call. You know those polls? <laughs> the two gubernatorial races could have major implications for President Biden and the Democratic Party, with the president's agenda stalled in Congress and the midterm elections one year away. The president in Scotland asked if the Virginia race is a referendum on his administration. I've not seen any evidence that whether or not I am doing well or poorly, whether or not I've got my agenda passed or not, is going to have any real impact on winning or losing. The results here are already setting off a new round of Democratic finger pointing around the country, but especially on Capitol Hill. Virginia Senator Mark Warner blaming Democrats in Congress for not passing a bipartisan infrastructure bill that he says could have helped both Biden and Terry McAuliffe. Savannah, expect to hear a lot more of that kind of talk in the weeks ahead. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.